Hey guys, Matt here again for udesley.com. If you haven't noticed, we have launched two brand new products onto our store. The audio player and the video player. What these allow you to do is create a completely custom and branded video and audio player onto your Webflow project. This is really exciting because you, what you can do, you can literally customise everything down to the nearest detail like icons and the colour of all of your fonts for example. So in this video I'm going to go over the video player and in the next video I'm going to touch on the audio player as well. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead to udesley.com and purchase the video player. Once you've bought that you can simply clone the Webflow project. As you can see once we've cloned this project we are greeted with the video player itself with all of our elements there and we can click into one of them and change them if we so wish like we would do for any normal image or icon with inside of Webflow. What you can do is you can click inside of here, click on the video player wrapper there in the navigator and you can copy this and paste it into your already existing Webflow project. But for the sake of this tutorial what I'm going to do is just leave it on here. So what you want to do is you go to the page that you have the video player on, go to the settings, scroll all the way down here, and in this before body tag we need to paste in the script where we have been provided. Now what we want to do is we want to hit on the video wrapper again, go over to the settings and we'll see the custom attributes there. What we want to do is we want to edit this video player here, and we can paste in our video URL there. So there's multiple ways you can do this. You can host on your own FTP space or you can simply find a .mp4 hosted elsewhere and paste it inside of there as well. Once we've copied our video URL, so I have this video here so I'm just going to simply copy that URL there, edit this video player attribute there and paste it inside and then I can hit publish and then you can visit that page and as you can see we are greeted with our video playing with our video control as well and if we hit the loop button you can see the green loop appears and we can play and pause it and seek through like we would do for any normal video player. The great thing about this video player is you can literally replace anything so if I want to change this repeat button I can simply hit replace, replace image with a new one and then I can hit publish and then when I go back to here you can see if I refresh this page my loop button has been changed. So there you go that is the video player from udesley.com. Remember we have a, the udesley community group on Facebook you can go ahead and quite happily join that if you want to stay up to date with any of the latest news from Udesley. Or if you're stuck on certain bits and you want some help, we are quite active on there and I do try my best to reply to as many of you as possible. So just fire your comments and queries inside of there and I'll happily get in touch where when I can. If you need some help and support, we do have the help centre as well, so you can go ahead and submit your ticket there. Anyway, my name has been Matt. I hope you got all the best from this video tutorial and I'll catch you guys in the next one.